Hi everybody, this is Bug S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Mego Killer Clowns from Outer Space Slim figure. So he doesn't come with any accessories, so let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. So taking a look at the head sculpt, I think the sculpt of the head isn't too bad, um, but it definitely could have been better. I think if it would have had some better paint apps, that it would have looked much better. Here up here, I wish it would have been sculpted instead of just painted on. Um, there's no hairlines here or anything. As I said, um, I think with some better paint, the, the sculpt would have looked much better on this head sculpt. Um, because as it is, it's not the most accurate. Really, that's my main complaint with the whole figure, is that um, it's, it's not quite accurate to the movie. Which, um, I, I definitely had to pick this up because the last time Killer Clowns got figures were from uh, soda toys, and go, those go for a pretty penny anymore. Um, I also think uh, fabric for the suits for the Killer Clowns works really well. Um, this is a really baggy suit, and uh, sculpted details, I just don't think the, the sculpted details would look that nice. It wouldn't look as good as this. Um, I do feel like the fabric they used for his suit could have been a brighter collar. Um, if I remember right, it was a brighter pink collar. The moons and the stripes on his arm, I think they were more of a shimmery color in the movie, like a shimmery blue. Um, but these don't look too bad. And my final complaint with the figure is that he doesn't have his clown shoes. He just has uh, these kind of shoes on. Which, the reason that Mego did this is probably for, uh, to fit him in the packaging. Because this is the uh, boxed version. And the boxed version is, the, the box to it is pretty much just as big as this figure. It's just big enough to put him in. Um, if they would have given him his accurate shoes, they probably would have had to uh, take them off and put them behind him in the packaging. Which, I think that could have worked, because as is, these aren't that accurate. So now let's go ahead and go over his articulation. He has a swivel head that can move side to side. Shoulders that can move out that far. He has single jointed elbows that can bend in just about all the way. He has swivel thrust that can move up and down and side to side. He has waist articulation that can move back just a little bit forward just a little bit, and side to side. He has hips that can move out that far. You don't want to move it any farther and split the seam right there to his suit. He can kick forward all the way. He can kick back just a little bit. Very slight thigh swivel, single jointed knee, and swivel ankles that can move up and down. So now let's do some size comparisons. First up, here he is next to the Mego Nun figure. Here he is next to the Mego Regan from The Exorcist. And there he is next to your standard NECA 7-inch figure. So overall, this figure definitely could have been more accurate. Um, it's not bad as is, but I definitely think it could have been better. But as I said, the last time we saw Killer Clowns figures was a long time ago, and those are harder to get, so I definitely had to pick this one up. So, that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.